How to make a digital planner to sell on Etsy. Full tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can create your own digital planner, which you can easily sell on Etsy. So let's get into it. Now, digital planners are an amazing way to make money on Etsy, especially with the growing digital market. There are so many different people looking for planners that they can use on their iPads or on their laptops, and digital planners are amazing and super easy to create. So to get started, the first thing I recommend is to go onto Etsy and just search for a digital planner. And once you search for a digital planner, this can actually give you a couple of ideas of how you want to create your own kind of digital planner, what kind of theme do you want to follow, what kind of, you know, overall look that you want for your planner. So you can actually go on ahead and choose the type of planner that you want to create. So you can see, just open up a couple of different planners to better understand what kind of planner you want to create. You can even replicate some of the pages or, you know, take some inspiration from the pages or the scheme of the pages and then replicate that into your own designs as well. Now we're going to get started with our planner over here and we're going to be using Canva for this. So Canva is a amazing illustration platform that allows you to create gorgeous illustrations and you can just simply sign up using your email. Now once you do that you can actually go into the search bar over here and you can search for digital planners and once you search for digital planners you can actually see there are quite a few different templates that you can get started with to create your own digital planner so you can see there are so many different remarkable templates that you can use to get started and you have basic weekly planners you have you know simple minimal planners you have basic digital planners so on and so forth and in this way you can simply open up any kind of template and begin customizing it as well now you can even see there are some paid and pro versions over here so you can actually take a look and get inspired or you know take some inspiration from those as as well now we're going to be building a simple weekly planner and what you can do is you can also go on ahead and click on go back to your you know basic home page or just simply click on create a design and you can choose the size that you want you can click on custom size over here change it from pixels to inches and then you can enter any size that you want i would recommend just go with a standard size so i'm just going to open this up this is the first little item and i'm just going to delete all the items present and now we're going to begin building our planner now you can see on the left side of your screen you still have quite a few different templates this is a a4 size and there are quite a few different options for you available now what i'm going to do is first off i'm going to change the color and let's say i want to make this you know japanese cute sticker type of a planner so i'm going to enter the first little background color now i'm just going to zoom in to better show you guys how i'm designing so then I'm going to click on the element section over here and what I will do is I actually have searched for this little grid before you can simply search for lines and you will actually get this grid and I can use this at the bottom for decor you can use any of these little illustrations you can even take one of these like so and increase the size and we're just going to make the transparency semi-transparent and then I will choose a different color. I'll just go with a darker shade of the overall color that we're using and I will just make sure that this is centered on our page like so. And then I'm just going to go into the text section. I will click on add a heading. So I will simply write monthly planner and then I can just change the font into any font of my own choice and then I will change the color of the text as well. So this will just say monthly planner and now I'm going to place this at the top over here. I'm going to click on effects on the top right and I will add a lifted effect. Now below that I'm actually going to add a grid of all the months that are present so I can go on ahead and enter that. You can even use these kinds of grid lines to denote you know a certain note section or or a extra section that you can create in your planner so I'm just going to click on the element section over here and what I'm going to do is I am just going to take a look at some of these lines and illustrations so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for lines and I'm going to go into the graphic section and I'm just going to go on ahead and add uh, abstract lines so I'm just going to take a look at a couple of these designs over here, which I can use as a illustrator of the month that I'm about to add. So I can add these over here if I want. Now, I just want to keep it simple. So I'm just going to search for circles and you can go into the graphic section and I will just simply use this. 
and you can use a simple circle you can use a filled out one you can use any of these as you might want to uh, do so so you can use this even this as a design element is pretty good as well and what we're going to do so you can add a couple of these little sections like so we're going to go into our text add our heading text which will be the names of the month so after you enter your month you can replicate the same font style that you used previously so we're just going to replicate our font and i will just make it pink instead and once i enter that so i can just enter this like so i will resize the box over here to make it slightly smaller like this i think i just want to write this and then i can just uh, select both of these with a left click do Control c and then Control v or command c or command v depending on the type of device that you're using and then just like that i can place it right over here and i will just change the text from january to february so i've just changed the text now what i'm going to do to create my digital planner is that i'm going to click on add page over here and now what I will do is I will go into the element section, take my rectangular box once more, and I will simply add the basic text that I just previously did, like so. And then I will add all of the color scheme that I followed. So I'm just going to enter this over here, like so. And what I'm going to do is now I can add, you know, different sections of my planner. So I will just search for lines like this and i can resize this or even rotate this so let's say i rotate this like so and i will place this over here and i can turn down the transparency change the color to you know fit the overall look and then i'm going to go into my text section i'm going to, going to click on add heading so i can add gold for the month and then i will replicate the same kind of font style because i want the font to look very cohesive and like this, I can enter a gold for the month section. You can even add some horizontal lines to better illustrate that as well. You can use any kind of decorative items. These are just decorative items for you to place. And what you're actually going to do to finalize your actual digital planner is that you want to do hyperlinks. So the January text on your first page, you're just going to click on that. And you can click on these three dots on the top of your screen or on the text. And you're simply going to click on link over here. And then you will simply link it to the the second page just like that i will create the third page and after that you're just going to click on february and you're going to click on these three dots click on link and then click on the third page and automatically when someone clicks on the february page on the first page of their planner they would automatically be led to the february page and you're just going to click on share click on download and you can download this as a pdf and now you can sell it on Etsy. So this is just a very basic version of this. Obviously, you're going to customize this a lot more. You can see it functions very well. It's super simple and easy. And it works so well as an amazing planner for simple and easy tasks and basic scheduling. Now, you can add any kind of theme and customize a simple planner into multiple different planners by using a different kind of color arrangement or design arrangement to sell your planner in multiple different ways. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.